Hey, just a quick heads up before I respond to Joe Rogan's comment about using drugs to help Carl Lentz make better decisions in life. Uh, I want to let you know this is the second video that I did in response to what he was doing, what he was saying. And uh, you can watch the first one here or you can click on it at the end of this video. I also am going to have a video out about do false teachers actually know that they are false teachers? as well as a, a current thing that just happened where a church in California uh, renamed itself a strip club so that it could stay open during COVID-19 pandemic whatever lockdown. And so if any of those sound interesting, uh, there'll be links down below as well as at the end of this video. So without any further ado, here is the clip. And finally, one of the big things I wanna reply to about uh, Joe Rogan's thoughts is, man, he, <laughs> If you know him at well at all, he really believes in the um, benefit of drugs, in a in the psychedelic ones, to really help you think more clearly. Uh, he said that Lentz actually should have been doing drugs because they would have really helped him go, hey dude, what are you doing? It, basically, he was just saying, you know, drugs can give you clarity of mind and help you reflect on what you're doing so that you don't make these mistakes. And that is a part of Christianity in general. You are supposed to meditate on scripture. You are supposed to be talking to God every day, multiple times, not just once, not just twice, morning and evening. You're supposed to have an ongoing conversation. And through that, you are supposed to be reflecting on your life, reflecting on your sin and repenting. And so it's, a, it's an ongoing thing. And on top of that, um, we have the Holy Spirit. Something that Lentz clearly failed to show is that discernment. Now, that's not to say that people that have the Holy Spirit will never mess up in a major way. That's going to happen. Maybe that's just Joe Rogan not knowing what we believe about the Holy Spirit and its power. That's a connection to God. That is God relaying things that you are going to be missed on that you're not going to catch. I know that God has helped me a lot in <laughs> correcting me uh, when uh, in, with interactions with my wife and same for her with God and just correcting us and giving us the correct mindset because he's, he's looking for truth inside of ourselves and there is no truth inside of us. There is only sin inside of us. That is what scripture says. And so a lot of culture likes to say, man, look inside of you. Your heart is good. Follow your heart. Uh, and that is wrong. 100% wrong. Don't do that. Follow God. Follow God's will for you. And to get more deeply into that, again, that's just a bigger thought than this video. But the only truth that is inside of us is the law that God has written on every person's heart. So yes, there is truth quote unquote inside of us, we do know the basic right and wrong. And that's why unbelievers can reflect on their actions and correct themselves because God has written the law on their heart. So they do know the basics of yes and no or right and wrong, but um, that their conscience can be seared and it can be distorted. And it is up and it's with the help of the Holy Spirit that it can be undistorted and clear, even in Christians we fall victim to this as well. And so drugs are not going to help us. That is a hindrance. Paul again says that, you know, you don't, you want to be sober minded. Why? Because we are not looking for truth or wisdom inside of us. We get that constantly from God. And those things, those substances only prevent a connection between us and God. And so drugs, do the opposite effect. And uh, that's just, I wish one day somebody could explain that to Rogan. That'd be so cool. <laughs> just that that truth could be explained out there for other people, at least to get the other world view so that people can seek. And he's, uh, thankfully, that's why I listen to him. I think that's why so many people listen to him. It's because he's open to listening to other people's views on things and not just uh, perpetually staying in his own bubble. Hey, thanks again so much for watching this video. Again, part one is over here. 
Down here is gonna be, do false teachers actually know that they're false teachers? And then finally, up here will be about the church who renamed itself the strip club so it can stay open during a pandemic. If it's not here now, subscribe so that you can uh, get notified when that video comes out next. And uh, if it's already there, cool, you should subscribe because this is good content. I don't know, please. Leave your comments, I read everything and reply to everybody. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.